It is time now for Ask the Expert. Recent news has again resurfaced questioning whether mammography saves lives or causes overdiagnosis and treatment. So we have Dr. Brian Baer here to discuss this very important, very important topic during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So discuss with us what is the most recent controversy. Well, I first want to say mammograms save lives, mm -hmm. but the recent controversy is out of the New England Journal saying that we're overdiagnosing and overtreating these small tumors. In layman's terms, for every life a mammogram saves, four of them are overdiagnosed and potentially overtreated. And that's no small number, especially if you recognize the anxiety and all that goes along with being having that kind of diagnosis. So uh, what does this all boil down to? Well, it's kind of like the prostate cancer debate where they're now saying that we're over-treating these smaller lesions that may not lead to our demise or death. They're saying the same thing that t tumors of two centimeters or lower size that we should be perhaps observing them, that they may regress on their own. And regression... So just kind of a wait and see? Absolutely. Regression is pure and simple contentious when it comes to breast cancer. You don't want to be the one in that large randomized right. controlled trial that they say, uh, we're not going to treat you, we're going to watch this. Uh, women really don't take that very lightly. Well, and you're in this position. I mean, people will turn to their doctor. It comes up in the conversation. What should I do? Well, I think it's important for everybody to remember in the community that the important components to breast cancer have to do with cell biology and genetics. If you have a genetic history, your risk of it going on to a significant cancer and potentially your death are, tr are tremendous. In addition, if you have a very aggressive cell type in the tumor, that's an important component as well. My, my opinion is get a second opinion, get a third opinion, really? uh, talk to your doctor, and make sure that you continue with mammography starting at age 40 annually. Does it have anything to do uh, quickly with imaging? We have the 3D imaging now. If more women go to that, will results you know, be clearer, be better? I, that's a great question. We talked about uh, breast ultrasound, the, the new device, mm, right. ABUS, that's out there. And this is giving clear images that you can look at three-dimensionally to see if the tumor is invading into the tissue. It gives you a much better idea about the aggressive nature of it. And that's the, the whole thing, is that our treatments and our ability to diagnose continue to improve. So I wouldn't want to be that person in the randomized trial that's just the control. Dr. Bear, thank you for your insight on this. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail right there, and we'll be right back.